It is the month of October, and um, October, uh, I know, features a number of things, but uh, one of the most prominent things during the month of October, uh, obviously, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And there's all sorts of um, uh, events going on to uh, continue to raise money. Uh, and I know we talk about bring awareness. I, I do believe the awareness has been established, but the great news is because of that, that movement to, um, to establish awareness and the research of money that has been used, uh, the success rate, uh, if uh, breast cancer is detected early, which uh, is still something going on with awareness, that is so crucial uh, that it uh, that it be caught early with um, uh, the normal exams. The success rate has climbed to the last I saw about eighty nine percent over a five year period uh, if uh, if it is detected early, and um, that is the great news that we've made those advancements when it comes to breast cancer. I know many of you listening, uh, as all of us here on the show. Uh, unfortunately, have been impacted uh, uh, through this uh, by this horrible disease. Uh, some of the stories have happy endings, and, and some of them do not. Uh, but uh, whether you're using this month to remember a loved one or you're a survivor who wants to bring uh, more attention uh, so there will be more survivors, uh, something that you may not be aware of is uh, is the Dixie Divas. And Kay Meacham joins us to talk about that. Kay, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Rick. Thank you for having me. Now tell us about the Dixie Divas. The Dixie Divas are a group of ladies who ride motorcycles. We, um, this is our third annual event. We pink out our bikes, and we ride to raise money for breast cancer research. Well, and, and like I mentioned, the, uh, the, the money that's going to that research is, uh, is, is, you know, the return on that has been great. Yes, it uh, has. Uh, the advancements that are being made. And I know we all hope one day it will be, you know, completely wiped off the face of the earth. But certainly. But right now, uh, yeah. if we can uh, detect it early, your success rate very high. That is correct. And uh, that's because of the continued research. Now I know that you guys, and we've put in show notes, have a ride that is going on uh, out of the state where the show is being done in Alabama. But you were telling Speedy that um, uh, these rides are going on all over the country, and women are coming from parts of the country to the one you're having in Alabama. That is correct. We are the local chapter. We also have a mid south chapter, and those girls will be joining us. Those ladies are coming down from Memphis. Um, we also have a group starting up in South Alabama and possibly one in Florida. We hope to eventually be nationwide with this. Now, what, what's your favorite bike? What do you drive? I ride a soft tail fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the names. Now, I just, I, I think this, the hobby of riding has got to be pretty cool, but how did you get it into is. it? I mean, did you, when did you realize, hey, I love, I like just motorcycles? Just the love to ride, and if you have your own bike, you don't have to wait on an invitation to ride. <laughs> yeah, that's just true. Just go. Now, how many women, how many are we talking that, that, oh, use, we that, about, that, that call themselves Dixie Divas? We're the Dixie Divas. There's about 30 of, of us here in uh, the local chapter. Right. Now, Kay, how do you actually raise this money? Do this, this people it's like the walkathons or whatever where they we give you so much for how much you ride? We have sponsors like uh, United People, WZZK. We have a lot of good sponsors. We also, um, our ride consists of people paying to ride. Uh, we have um, after party. We have some um, solid auction items. Just and every penny that we raise goes to breast cancer research. Now, unfortunately, like so many families, your family has been impacted by this uh, horrible disease. Tell us that it story. It has, Rick. Um, my mother was diagnosed in 2004 with inflammatory breast carcinoma, which is a very aggressive type of cancer. Um, she's been winning the battle now um, since 2004. This is the third time that um, it, it metastasized to her spine, uh, then mm. to her brain, and now in the lymph nodes in her neck. So she's just gone back into chemo and radiation in the past couple of weeks. So she's got a new recurrence, but we continue to fight. She actually um, received um, a drug that was seated here at UAB. At the uh, Cancer Research in, Center? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's a fighter. She's actually going to speak to the bikers before we ride on uh, Saturday. How far do you ride? Uh, for this ride, we are actually um, going to be um, police escorted, and we're going to ride about 40 miles this Saturday. Now, you, you said you pink out your bikes? We do. Now, how, what all do you do to them? We tie everything pink on them that we can. and um, Do you put cards we, in the spokes? No, <laughs> we don't do that. We, we don't want to go down. We, right. uh, <laughs> we just tie ribbons on them. We're real girly. Uh, pink them out. We ask the guys, come on, pink out your bike, wear a pink shirt. 
Wow. We're trying to make an impact. Yeah. We, we want people so to you, realize so that. So dudes get to ride in this too? Oh, men it's are not very just welcome. Not just women. No. There you go, Adler. You were one. We <laughs> love. Adler's a bike. In fact, I wondered if you were bikers. I brought you guys a kickstand plate. Well, look at that. It's pinked well, out. Oh. If you don't ride well, just sit your drink on it. Yeah, well, and have that, one that, that explains why Greg Certainly. got so many of them. <laughs> hey, um, if, 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 so you, you guys, uh, obviously, the, these are, can be going on in other parts of, of the country, and there's all sorts of events going on this, this month uh, for breast cancer research. What about this one? So you're saying if, if I want to ride, there there I can still sign up to ride. Yes, that's correct. Um, we are you could still go online, sign up to ride. There's also from nine to eleven o'clock, we will be serving breakfast. You can register, get your shirt, get ready to go. Kickstands aren't up until eleven o'clock. And the weather's supposed to be yeah, great. Beautiful. Perfect day for riding. It is. Well, we've had Very some fortunate nice with days, that. Oh yeah. If you want to be part of the the event. Uh, that uh, that Kay is talking about. It is in Alabama, in the Birmingham area, uh, and you can. Uh, that'll be coming up this Saturday. Uh, and as she talked about, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, on-site registration and packet pickup. 11 o'clock kick stands up. And hey, here we go. Yes. And, Revin uh, for and, and it. If you've never been to this part of the country and you want to come down for this, or you can find the ones that that are closer to you. But uh, if you've never been to Alabama on a fall day like Saturday's going to be, you're really missing out. Oh, and to be able so to ride beautiful. and look that at that. That is correct. We do have riders come from across the states, though. Yeah, because uh, you'll, you'll find out why it's called Alabama the Beautiful on Saturday. This is, this is the, the best time of year to be here. i, I got to ask okay. a motorcycle question. You know how y'all get out for rides? Rick just mentioned you get out for a ride and you just go. Yes. I mean, I, I talk to guys and ladies that just, they go, where are you going? I don't really know. I'm just going to go doesn't ride. doesn't matter as long as you're riding. Do you ever sometimes get caught up in it and realize, hey, I've gone a lot little far, further than I want, now i got a ride, long ride back? Uh, or is it just that you just enjoy it? I mean, what, what's, the, what's the high much. on that? It's therapy. Really? It's great. Mm-hmm. It's like fishing for me. I don't know how long I've been fishing. But I just matter. didn't know if all of a sudden you look up and you're like, wow, I've gone 60 miles. I'm and a little I've got sleepy. Go, got to go know? all the way home. Go all the way yeah. home now. A little yeah. chilly, too. Or maybe you look up and say, wow, I forgot to pick the kids up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Something. I mean, not that's ever happened. I'm just talking about. <laughs> right. right. In general. Right. Time general. can get away when you're doing things yeah. that are therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, Rick, wow. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> wow, is that t- what time is it? <laughs> I, think I, I forgot there. to mention that Panera Bread is donating a portion of the monies on the sales of oh, these good. breast cancer ribbon bagels uh, for breast cancer research. Now, is that going on at their at their restaurant, or will it on site there that day? You, I mean, no, right, it's here right uh, now. The restaurants, yes, yeah. this the whole month of October. All right, well, that's great. Well, okay, that's what, awesome. What an honor to to meet you, and I know that your mother will be uh, an inspiration for everybody, along with all the ladies who are survivors or are fighting the battle, and and even writing for those that. Um, uh, that the breast cancer research is something that is their legacy, that they themselves um, uh, uh, did not um, live to see what has happened now. But, uh, you know, it, 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 because of the sacrifice of so many uh, today, if you are to get that horrible diagnosis, uh, you've got more hope than we've ever had up to this point. Yes, it's very encouraging, the change. Actually, my maternal grandmother died of breast cancer at 47. Good, good. And wow. there's so so much more uh, in research and, and medications available that we can fight well, and, and live a longer life. And like I said, I know you guys don't do what you're doing for money, but uh, breast cancer research requires money. And, it does. Uh, and, that, and that's what it's all about. So uh, come alongside them, the, uh, the Dixie Divas. They'll be doing the Revin for Research charity ride coming up this weekend in the state of Alabama or go to the information we've given you to find um, rides that might be going on nearer to you if you cannot make the trip to Alabama. But if you just like to uh, support the cause, uh, you can do that as well. All the information is in show notes today there at rickandbubba.com. Kay, what a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you very Kay. much for having me. And Panera Bread, thanks for the bagels. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll be back.